That news comes as James Comey will be front and center later this week. The former FBI director will appear before Congress Thursday to talk about his previous conversations with President Donald Trump. The White House says Trump will not prevent Comey from testifying. Senators are looking for clarification on a memo written by Comey in which sources say the former FBI director recounts that Trump allegedly urged him to go easy on former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. All while a source with knowledge of Comey's thinking tells CNN Comey was, quote, disturbed by his interactions with the president, but he felt that he had the situation under control. Everyone is waiting to see if Comey reached the same conclusion himself. The tone, the exact words that were spoken, and the context are so important. And that's what we lack right now. And we can only get that by talking to those directly involved. It was last month that President Trump fired Comey as head of the FBI. Back in central New York, we're following up on the weekend arrest of a man who Syracuse police say was carrying a loaded gun at the Taste of Syracuse. Detectives say they're now looking into that man's Twitter account. A tweet from 21-year-old Bryce Raymond of Cortland says, quote, now I might empty a nine clip. Police say Raymond had a nine millimeter and didn't have a permit for the handgun. It's routine for festivals to have extra officers out and about, but it wasn't police who noticed the gun. It was actually a woman who was enjoying the event and told police. That his shirt pulled up and she saw what she thought was the butt of a handgun sticking in his waistband. She alerted the first officer she found and they were able to grab onto him right away. After they did talk to him, they did find a loaded uh, 9 millimeter Ruger handgun in his, in his waistband. In regards to the tweet, Sergeant Helterline isn't expecting more charges without it being more specific. Raymond was jailed on $50,000 bail. 635 right now. Police have arrested this Cortland man and charged him with driving drunk. They say last Sunday, 31-year-old Nicholas Sherman, who had just come from a business location in Chittenango, portraying a Wizard of Oz character. Sherman's blood alcohol content at the time, they say, was more than twice the legal limit. He's due back in Sullivan Town Court later this month. Tracking local jobs this morning, there's a job fair today to fill thousands of positions in Central New York. More than 180 businesses will be set up inside the SRC Arena at OCC today, ready to hire. Some of them even doing on-the-spot interviews. So job seekers, head to OCC between 11 and 3 today, dress to impress, and don't forget to bring plenty of copies of your resume. Well, there's a team of OCC students who may have found their calling in life, their career. They're just back from a trip of a lifetime to NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston. But it was no sightseeing trip. News Channel 9 Jeff Kulikowski says the team was there to test their invention that could someday be used in a space mission.